It's Greg Torres. I'm out here in Cuyahoga County, Florida, Naples, and beneath some beautiful slash pine here. Sometimes beneath slash pine you can find these small plants here. With this red leaf like this, kind of towards the base of the leaf, at the top leaves of the plant, this is called wild poinsettia or painted leaf. And like poinsettias, it's in the euphorbia family. Uh, usually with euphorbias, if you break one of the leaves, you'll start to see a white oozing sap like you see here. That's usually indicative of the euphorbias or the spurge family of plants, of which poinsettia is one of them. That's why if you've ever broken a poinsettia, you see that white sap come out of it like that. Now this plant has already started to flower and go to seed. The flowers are quite small, and actually on poinsettias, if you look closely, the red that you see on poinsettias, just like with this plant here, those are bracts, and they're just very showy leaves to attract insects to the very small yellow flowers. Now, the seed pods of painted leaf look very, very similar to poinsettia, so you can see the very close resemblance, family resemblance, between these two plants. This plant gets about three feet tall, and it forms a colony, and that's all of this through here. The leaves are very long. They have a simple margin, lanceolate, I would say. This is a plant that grows in South Florida, but also north of here as well. I believe it goes right up into like uh, Minnesota and that. But in South Florida is the first time I've seen it, and it's definitely more abundant here than other places that I've seen. It's a great native plant, and it's actually the host plant of the Elo Sphinx moth, which is a moth indigenous to the Caribbean and South Florida. So again, if you're in South Florida, and you want a great plant for your landscape that provides wildlife habitat, go with point painted leaf.